Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today with Alistair Davis from Alistair Davis Golf. And we're at the Forest of Arden doing a course vlog. So the first three holes were on Al's channel. Uh, so we've played the back nine, so we started on the 10th, we played 10, 11, and 12, and one up, one down. So here we are on the 13th tee. So on my uh, channel here, we're gonna have three holes, 13, 14, and 15, before we go back for the finale on Alistair's channel. So make sure you check that one out also. You're going down. Let's do it. Fighting tour. Let's do it. On you. Let's see if you can hit a top spinner up here. Good hole, Les. I don't remember this hole very much, Al. Off this tee, we're off the slightly forward yellow position because the yellows and whites are together. But um, it, down, it, down the right hand side is right ideal. A bit better. Yeah, bunker line's good. Um, the flag's fairly central today. But down the right hand side, you can get blocked up with the tree on the left hand side if you're too far down the left. Okay. Uh, which is why the right's better off the tee from this tee. Off the blue tees, we could hit it pretty much left or right. In which case, I'm going to tee up on the left, pick my spot right half. and hit my usual top spin lob. Top spin, a draw. At that green keeper down there by the green is the line then, I guess. Starting line there is good for you. You want to finish in just left of that if you can. Okay. There he goes. Perfect. Little top spin draw. Big bounce again. You get big bounces, you do. Big bounces, big run. Let's see it, Al. As I said before, if you could enter a running competition, and I don't mean marathons, I mean running with a golf ball, you could have a chance. Carry, not so sure. <laughs> luckily, luckily it's been quite firm weather, although here's a bit softer than I've been used to most courses. Heavily watered. Yeah. So I'm gonna hit a little cut because I'm struggling with draw off the tee. So I'm gonna go kind of flag line with cut, so. That's the plan. So how far short of mine are we expecting this to be? Well, I won't get the run, you will. So I'll probably carry it further. But I won't run as much. Look nice, just didn't cut enough. It's cutting, but not quite enough. Needs a good bounce. It was a good hit. Just on that left half of the fairway. Yeah, I think it's fine. Might have to hit a draw, second shot, might. Let's go for it. So John. If you've been watching already, you'll notice that John hit his three were past me on 10 and was giving it the big gun. I'm 20-ish yards past him there with driver for driver, and I cut it, and he hit a big loopy draw. So I think it's just that it's landed in the middle of the fairway and they're quite soft in these fairways, Al. They've been water and... You could have something, because on 10 I was on fairway and you landed in, in the, in the, on a tree bark or something. No. <clears throat> so you go one, six, eight. I have. Come on, what are you gonna do, cut it in straight? Thinking about cutting it more from the tree just on that left half of the green. Have you got cut in your locker? I've got cut. I've got cut. So this is a six iron. Start a little left and cut it into the flag. Come on, I'm excited. I'm talking a good game, aren't I? I've never seen you hit a cut, so I'm, I'm interested to see this. Ah. Oh. So I don't know what to say about that, really. <laughs> it slipped. It slipped. slipped from my hand. Poor. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Okay, John, so I'm slightly blocked out. I'm gonna have to hit a low draw, if I wanna get close to the flag anyway. Low shot onto me get back edge of the green. Yep. I got one, four, eight, so I'm taking a seven, which is too much club. Yep, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flight it low. Landing short and... Run it on. Okay. I could do it with one of your little top spin hooks, I mean draws. Any chance you could hit this? If I just copy your swing? Yeah. Would that be the secret? Hoop, loop and swoop. That's the one. Right, let's see my Welsh skills here. Needs a nice bounce now. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. It's almost hit the flag. Just past the back of the... Oh, I've got it, yeah. Uh, it looks about 10 foot long and right, but it almost hit the flag. Hoop, loop and scoop. Is that the future? Yeah, obviously. 
Okay, John, so you've uh, caught the bunker. I think catch the bunker, I think, with that shot. I've faced easier shots. This is a tricky one, long bunker shot, not much green to work with. Let's see what you can do here. I'm on the green, comfy. Yeah. I've got about... I'm under pressure. I've got 25 footish or so, of mine. So you can, maybe if you're up and down it, you might scrape with a half. That's the plan. That is the plan. Let's see it. Luckily, the green keep was just over here, so I can't blame the bunker not being raked. Yeah, the excuses are all gone. Go a bit. To be fair, you played it quite well. I think the distance is pretty good. It's not it bad. Came out a bit right. Look. Yeah, a little bit. Good though. Right, whip it out. Oh, I got good eyes. Okay, so. Downhill part, 25 footish for birdie. Good shot that Al, it's finished a bit further than we thought I think. Yeah, I think the difficulty is obviously judging how much bounce you're going to get and obviously when you're hitting the shot underpowered, you don't know how far exactly it's going do you? No. But I'm really really pleased with the result. Yeah, I don't think you could have asked for more from there. No, let's knock this in now for the birdie and get back to all square. Off the right, downhill but it's a dewy green so. Got the pace. It's got the boom. That's the way to do it. Dear me. Saves you sweating over your putt then. <laughs> you would have given me this one now. Given you that? No. I'll give, you, I'll give it to you now for the loss. Okay, 14th hole, all square. How far is this one now? What have we got? 400 uh, ish. 401, yeah. yeah. I thought it was about 400. That was a good guess, that wasn't was it? A good guess. <laughs> <laughs> I've played it a few times. It's a driver. Yep, pretty straightforward hole. You've got fairway bunker and then you've got greenside bunkers and you've got a couple of trees. The plan really is the left side of the fairway off the tee, avoiding the green the fairway bunker, which we should knock it past all day long. Uh, that's where the greenkeeper is there. Yeah, that's the fairway bunker. So that's prob oh, that's really good. It's probably about 210 from here, maybe. Okay. Um, so, yeah, a good drive for us. We'll carry that, no problem at all. Yeah. We want to be at the greenside bunkers, ideally, line and then we'll open the green up with the flag flashy tee on the right, so. Well, you're on a Mr. Birdie man. Yep, so we're gonna repeat, hopefully. Little cut down the left. <laughs> Little cut down the left, might have to wait for that green keeper just to move. He's driven off at the wrong time. He has indeed. He Don't knows. think about him, Al, block him out of your mind. He knows I'm coming. Just down the right hand side. Just right, is that okay? Bit of... Yeah, no, that's fine there. Okay. Just face open to start it down the right a little bit. Didn't get through it properly. It was the feeling I had. So draw would be good for me here. A draw, a, a draw works, cut works. You can hit anything you want. The fairway's wide enough. Obviously you've got to stick to your hoop loop and scoop already, haven't you? That's what I'm working on. So get it running. Up the right hand side, leave yourself a short iron in. Okay. I've got it. I'm going to try and start it towards the flag and move it a little left. Good plan. Nice shot. That'll play. Yep, perfect. Running, running, running like the road runner. <laughs> so I bailed out a bit on the tee shot here, Jotty didn't hit great. Hit it a bit high in the club and cut it, well push it, push it. the lie. Lie's good and I've got an opening, which is good. You've just got to keep it a little low for this tree branch. Yep, I got one. Not too low. Yeah, I got 160 okay. to the stick. So I'm going to hit a punch six iron again, six will go further. I'm going to. Decrease the speed, lower the flight. Do you tend to hit more of a draw when you punch it? When you yes, yes. I'm gonna try and probably hold it off though to try and hit straight because of the flag. Yeah. But that's been ultimately fussy. But I'll try. Let's try and see what we can do. Middle of the green would be good here. Uphill putt. But we're just gonna hit a low one, strike it well as the plan. You struck it, but. Missing left. It's caught, it's caught the apron of the green. Chip and run from there. Yeah, might be able to putt it. It's apron-ish. Okay. Maybe first cut, but yeah. 
Let's go to the middle of the fairway out where my ball is. Yeah, well, if you, hit, if you only carry it 150, it's, it's, easy to, it's easy to find the middle of the fairway. Okay, John, what you got? I find myself in the middle of the fairway again. Yeah. 129. Yeah. A full wedge is about 125, as I said before. So I'm just gonna, I, I was gonna say it's a little down breeze. I mean, you can't really feel anything, can you? But rather than hit a little nine, I'm gonna try and hit a full wedge. Okay, cool. Looks good. That looks pretty good. Needs a hop left though, just to get close. Ooh, it's a bit short. Oh, front edge. Yeah, good shot, but maybe half a club out. Yeah. You don't get any top spin with your wedge, you see? No. <laughs> so I just missed the green just left. Roughly, well, just short, just shy pin high, but I left myself a fairly straightforward chip pitch, whatever you'd want to call it. Um, bit of slope on it, downhill, bit of a break. So I'm going to use a wedge, land it on the downhill slope here, let it release out to the holes to plan. Okay. Hopefully won't need my putter. I think you should have brought it in case. Well, I've got it just around the corner, don't you worry. Good length. Yeah, I just pulled it a little bit. Just pulled it a little bit. I think I would have gone a little less loft than that and probably landed it a touch closer, but you could have used a lot of different. Clubs. I was trying to hit it fractionally lower than I did, and I was trying to land it on that slope. I've just got a little bit, I've added a bit of loft, that's why I pulled it, I've okay. right handed it. Yeah. And that's why it's landed in softer, but pitched further. So we got seven foot, eight foot? Uh, probably about seven, yep. Right. So you're a little bit short, John, weren't you? Yeah, I needed... Half a club? I did hit that softer nine, I think. Yeah. But still, putt for birdie and the win to get the hole back from the last hole. I like the sound of that, putt for the win. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're going to do it. Hole percentage from here would be what, 5%? Yeah, very low. Two to 5% maybe? Very low. Let's just try and nestle it up there nice and close. Go a little. Ooh. We'll see a little bit more of that, I think. Just needed a bit more pace. We'll see a bit more. Right, this potentially match play situation. I could knock this in and you could have yours for the half. Let's see it. Okay. Well, you saw my putt in the last hole. I'm just like... I'm worried now, yeah. I'm putting God. On days. <laughs> I think the deer have run across this one. They have, yeah. It's the only problem you get out here. It's beautiful to see them, but uh, make it hard for the green keepers. Oh, I'll give you that one now. Okay. This for the win. Not happy with that. This for the win. I'm feeling the pressure now, Al. Mm. Not happy, not happy. One up. So somehow, somehow, you one up. Gifted you a hole there. To where I was started. One up. So you got 158. 158, which uh, 155 is an eight iron for me, but feels like the wind's hurting a little. It's slightly off the left, isn't it? Slightly. Into off the left. Into off the left. I'm going to try and hit a little trappy seven iron. Okay. So I'm going to start it hopefully right at the pin and let it draw more into it. Pretty good, no draw though. Just stayed there, didn't it? Yeah. Tad long. Yeah, tad long, but pretty good shot, to be honest. You controlled it nice. I'm doing very similar. I think again for me, it's probably, I could probably just about get an eight iron there. It's not, yeah. I might, I'm tempted to go eight iron, but I'm gonna go seven. Trust it, now. conviction. Okay. 
similar to me, right edge, maybe a putt off. Yeah. Or yours is maybe a little more of a chip than a putt. Yeah, mine had a, a right bounce, didn't it? Yeah. Impressive. Okay, so Mr. Green right, a little bit right of your ball, a little bit long of your ball. Yep. Got a downhill chip pitch type shot. Green keeps in the background doing their job. Um, you want to try and release it down there? Yeah. It's going to break a little right to left, isn't it? A little downhill. Yeah. I've got a 52 degree, I'm just going to try and land it and release it. It needed, it needed to land a foot further, yeah. half a foot further right. Yeah, half. Average at best. Right, need a good one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I told you it didn't break as much as you thought. I really wanted to send it up there. Good pace. I'll give you that. You're generous to a fault. That was a bit generous, but I'm feeling a bit guilty. A bit guilty about making you put one near the hole. <laughs> okay, so for the half. Come on then, I'll knock it in. It's one of these putts I've got to get the line and pace very, very good. He's got it. Well done. Good up and down. Right then guys, so that is the three holes all done. So we've played 13, 14 and 15. We were all square in our match on those three holes. Halved one, I won one, you won one. Um, and the match is still one up to me. So now we're going over to Alistair's channel for the final three holes. So make sure you check out A Davis Golf. Alistair Davis Golf. Is Alistair the, Davis Golf. I think you'll get it with both though. For the final three holes, so we're going to be playing 16, 17, 18. Hopefully, I can uh, hold on to my lead. No chance. Cheers, guys.